Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the sponsor of this channel. The sponsor of this channel is Silk City Hot Sauce. It is a hot sauce company that I use personally. I love everything Silk City Hot Sauce does. They are a small uh, business in Vermont, Southern Vermont, and they use all the ingredients from a farm down the road. They got farm fresh ingredients. It tastes great. They have the best peppers. And quite frankly, I have tried many of their sauces. I love them. I, I've tried prime time, fired up with Alex Stein. That is good. It's got a good heat to it right out of the gate. Killer Hot is another one that I do love. I love Killer Hot. That one is probably one of my favorites. Uh, Alex Stein's is also one of my favorites. I would also say that I, I have tried Nightmare. This is Chrissy Mayer's hot sauce. They do a great job with that. Bob uh, Bob Levy's uh, blue cheese ass licking hot sauce. That's right. <laughs> I do love it. They have a lot of great packages you can have. Like you can get, you can get a three pack. They got multi packs. Polo tails from Silk City pull over. I have tried that. I have not tried the G sauce yet. Not yet. But they also have your pick your three pack. They have uh, pick your six pack. They got a lot of great stuff. I hope you check them out because when you do and use the promo code legion that is the promo code legion l-e-g-i-o-n at checkout you get 15 percent off jeff is a friend of this channel i've interviewed him on uh, my channel and i think you will love everything they do so i hope you go to silkcityhotsauce.com use the promo code legion and get 15 percent off because i continue to buy from them Every time I have the opportunity, every time I run out, I always go. I use my own promo code. Jeff knows it's me. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the rest of this video or the rest of this live stream. We'll see you guys. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to Legion Reacts, episode number 274. Now we're we're approaching 300, which is um, it's a lot of episodes. It's been a fun journey. Uh, and But we are going to be reviewing some of the results of uh, your uh, Eurovision Junior, excuse me, uh, I can't speak today. Uh, so I, I actually reacted to this video initially um, at the at the uh, state, technically I guess it'd be country level. Uh, now this is the international, the world stage here. Uh, Gaia uh, Gaia Gambuza, Diamonds in the Skies, live Malta Junior Eurovision 2022, and I did have I did have a few criticisms. Um, and, uh, you know, so I'm, you know, I, I wanted to, um, I felt like it needed more. I felt like the performance needed more. That's not, that was not a knock against the artist per se. Um, you know, I just, I, I felt like it, it definitely the, um, the performance, the lyrics now, the lyrics aren't going to get better. That the song is what the song is now. It's, it's not my favorite, but I think, um, I think uh, just her performance in general needed a little bit more. That could be the, the fact that it was like a smaller venue and this is now the Eurovision world stage. Um, so with that being said, I'm, I'm very much going to give her the benefit of the doubt and we are going to review this in fresh with fresh eyes. Here we go. Big stage. I took a rocket ship to go to outer space Turned around to look at all the time we wasted Looking down, down, down All the time we wasted Looking down, down, down So count with me One, two, three Turn around, watch them dancing around the sun. It's so easy, like ABC. We just need to look around. Never close our eyes. We're diamonds in the sky. Diamond. I just feel like she would. I feel like she would ha have an easier time if she had a headset. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe I'm nitpicking. Uh, I don't want to nitpick. Obviously, I, I think the production quality is definitely better. Uh, so it was a small town. It was small town. It was a small venue. I can't talk. Um, like I said, the the, the lyrics I, I feel are a, a smidge and generic, but that's I, I I'm trying to be as as honest as possible. 
Um, I think she's she's gonna have real talent, uh, but I feel like just with the microphone, I feel like it limits her a little bit. And I think uh I think a headset would have been a better option. Um, or is that somewhere in the rules that maybe you can't use that? I don't know. Um, that's a good question. Ow! Looks like I hurt your back. Of course, I'm old. I'm like 37. I'm old. That would hurt my back. I like that effect. Why didn't they add that to to the rest of the song with the the background? I like the background voices added with hers. I think it I think it gives the song body. If that makes sense. I kind of feel a little weird, um, like judging a teenager's performance. I know I know that there are judges that do this, but well, and there's world the world you know the world audience does too. Um, but I feel a little, <laughs> it was a little weird. Guess uh, I mean you know just like I said I'm trying to try to be straight up here. Uh, I, I, I think they finished last place, um, but like I said, that's not a knock on her. Um, yeah, she can always go back. There have been multiple multiple of the same win. Uh, yeah, so I mean she could always try again next year. And uh, you know, I say I say go for a girlfriend. You could sing. I definitely think she needs to she needs to try again. I um I I definitely um think she's she's uh, gonna get better with her talent, obviously. She's still young. I mean, um what? Uh the cutoff for for Eurovision, the Eurovision song contest is what 16, right? 16 they can enter, I think somebody told me. Um so yeah, hopefully, hopefully she she continues doing what she's doing. I'd like to see her again. I just think I think um the individual who wrote the lyrics for her, a little generic. Uh, and I think um, and that falls on him, not her. Uh, I think I think her performance is fine. And, uh, you know, but like I said, she seemed like she was trying. She was enjoying herself getting into it. And that's obviously a part of the, the performance. But, yeah, the, the lyrics are not on her. Somebody else wrote those. So hopefully I would like to see her back in the future. Um I think somebody said she's like 14. So uh, I, I think I saw that somewhere in the comments. I can't remember. But yeah, which means she should be able to to, to do the Eurovision Song Contest on the on the big, the very big stage. Um, guess in the next couple of years. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, enjoyed the video. Um, and uh, I will definitely uh, see you guys again for the next time we do this. Appreciate y'all. As always, thank you. See you guys.